Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name's Vincent. I'm a little nervous because this is my first lightning talk in front of like non-tech school people or code school people, and also a little bit nervous because I'm about to tell like developers about REST, like web developers about REST, and I'm sure you all know about REST already. Um, <laughs> all right, REST. I don't know about anything. All right, that's cool. Well, like. REST stands for representational, representational state transfer, and it's just sort of a way that we mostly as Rails developers understand uh, how we share resources over an API, how we construct routes and things. We have like a lot of assumptions about what REST is, and these things that I've listed here are like a good working definition that we all, or I tend to assume, and I know that most of the people I've worked with tend to assume REST means when we talk about REST. We mean that we use HTTP, we use status codes, we use the verbs, like HTTP verbs as in get, put, post, patch, delete. Uh, there are seven routes. It's the thing that Rails forces you to do with its resources. And those things all map to database CRUD actions, create, read, update, and destroy. Right, so it's sort of like this is what REST is. It doesn't seem terribly complicated and there's no need to belabor a point, uh, except for that I got into an internet argument about it. And <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is fine. This is what REST is, right? Um, anyway, so this is how I was taught. I was taught with this graph. You can see the CRUD things that the HTTP methods uh, map to, and then what the route will usually look like. Um, that's cool. That's a good way to understand things, but it's also not actually pedantically what REST is. I found this uh, RESTful API documentation for Mandrill that says all API calls should be made with POST. Any response with non-200 error uh, code can be considered an error, and all methods are accessed via this route, which to me, that's like, that's not REST. Uh, what they say on their documentation is the Mandrill API is mostly RESTful. And I was like, that's, that's kind of bullshit. Like, <laughs> that's not RESTful. Like, that's, that's sort of like a cobbled together ad hoc API, and you're serving JSON. So like, OK, that actually has nothing to do with REST. So it's a joke. Um, I have this nice however link. All right, so this is what REST is as defined um, by you know, whoever it is that gets to make these decisions. Uh, it was invented as a style guide, not a protocol, at the same time that HTTP was defined. Um, so if we look over these requirements of REST, we'll notice that it seems to have a lot in common with HTTP. Clients and servers seems like so obvious as to barely be worth mentioning. Statelessness is what the web is. Uh, you know, it's kind of like our assumptions about how, how HTTP works, how request responses work. Uh, layered system just means you can go through a proxy. Really, um, the most important thing here uh, for REST is uniform interface and the specific things within it, like hypertext as the engine of application state, which I think is like the coolest sounding Hadios, really <laughs> awesome, like badass Star Trek villain type thing. Uh, it just means discoverability, like not Hadios itself, um, but uniform in interface. The implications of these attributes are discoverability, which means if you hit an API endpoint, you should be able to find your way to other API endpoints and navigate an API. So uh, this is just like, going over those points I just made. Um, that's all that REST is. REST isn't make sure your, uh, your resource names are pluralized. It's not resource name, ID, sub-resource, ID, slash edit. It's not the things that Rails tells you is REST. I mean, this is like the really pedantic internet argument level. What we talk about REST is something else. Um, but I suppose, if I were to have like a thesis right now, it's that almost everything is almost REST by default because we use HTTP. Statelessness, clients and servers, all of those things 
are included within REST and are included within HTTP. If it was a Venn diagram, they would look almost like a circle, except for something like discoverability through Hadios or uh, uh, you know, basically being able to navigate an API. There's a few uh, exceptions, like GitHub's API is the best one that I know that actually lets you like click through or just send get requests to various other links within that API and uh, find it without documentation if you wanted. Uh, yeah, so basically, if you tweet angrily about someone else's API, they might respond. <laughs> <laughs> and then you might have to go like digging through, uh, like, okay, who is it that actually came up with REST, and why is it what it is? REST was actually a response to SOAP, I think, or whatever. I'm not sure. Anyway, SOAP is actually a protocol. It has very specific rules. REST is a um, is a style. You can kind of do with it what you want as long as you're consistent. And um, we just have like these. Uh, post hoc structures that we've built on top of that, like the nested resources that Rails likes you to do. OK, cool. Uh, that was it. My name is Vincent. I'm a developer at Notch8. We're looking for work, but whatever. Uh, yeah, that's my stuff. Any questions? So who specifically at uh, Mandrill did you get an argument? Oh, no, I got into, no, I got into an argument with another developer friend who was like, I was, you know, I said basically, like, this isn't Rust. I, I know what Rust is. Ha, ha, ha. I'm a developer. And, um, and he was like, no, that's RESTful. And I was like, no, that's not RESTful. And then, you know, on and on. Yeah. Have you ever played around with SOAP and how terrible it is? No, actually, I'm a, I'm a junior enough developer that I didn't have to deal with that. But I've heard stories. It's so terrible. OK. Anything <laughs> but. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I mean, that's why I mentioned the JSON thing earlier is that the, you know, the common layperson's understanding is SOAP is XML and, or at least my crappy understanding, SOAP is XML and REST is JSON, but that actually has like nothing to do with the architectures involved. But no one likes XML anyways, so might as well lump it together. Uh, yeah. All right.